just over a decade ago, June 2007 to be exact, the mobile phone industry went through a dramatic transformation with the birth of the first smartphone. Uh, in less than 10 years, there's been a complete transformation and the mobile phone has essentially become our own personal electronic lifestyle hub. If you look at the simple numbers, the market is growing, albeit at a slower rate than when the smartphone first came out. However, there's a continual demand on innovation. With new applications, new use cases, uh, new ecosystem demands, uh, this market continues to grow at a much faster rate than the amount of handsets actually produced. You just have to look at data demand. You just say in places like Korea, uh, you are constantly connected, such as live streaming video and instant messaging and chatting. Fortunately, we have very fast infrastructure here, but Demand is pushing for more and more data. That's why developments like USB Type-C and 5G are very important. We really see the mix of uh, high-end feature phones and low-end phones. Uh, especially even for the low-end phones, uh, come packed with uh, lots of uh, features and functionalities. In China, people uh, really want to uh, stay connected all the time. Uh, so that means the mobile phone need to be uh, recharged anywhere and anytime. Uh, we already see the significant growth uh, in the mobile power banks. We still may be more attached to the wall in the US and Europe, but when it comes to creating new applications and developing new technologies, places like Silicon Valley and the emerging tech hubs in the US are extremely important in the entire ecosystem. The concept of the mobile phone as our personal electronics hub has only accelerated with the increasing amount of peripherals that the phone is connecting to. Whether it's uh, smart watches or smart audio, um, on a bigger scale, whether it's your car or to your house, uh, these things are forcing phone innovation to increase at a much faster rate. With so many different wired and wireless connections delivering higher data reach, the risk for interference gradually grows. That means we need to embed even more ESD protection and EMI filtering in mobile phones and connected devices to make sure you don't have any issues. Efficiency is also vital uh, because the mobile phone is powered by these small batteries and we want them to last forever. Uh, so that means uh, we can recharge the mobile phone via the wire or uh, wireless recharging. So that means we need to focus on the efficiency, power consumption and the transfer. With constantly evolving features and industry standards, flexibility is absolutely key. The ability for a manufacturer to make a quick change, to add new features and benefits at the very last minute differentiates them from their competition. Xperia's portfolio of logic and discretes allows them to do this. So they can make these last minute changes and if, they, if it then gets incorporated into the IC, that's great, but we continually give them the opportunity to evolve their designs. One of the biggest design challenges for mobile phones and peripherals is space. We continue to develop smaller and thinner packages to meet the available footprint constraints. And by offering different functionality in the same package footprint, also gives designers flexibility in board layout. Flexibility is very important. Nextpeer with an in-house manufacturer capability. Today, we Nextpeer can produce over 100 billion pieces per year. So that really gave us a flexibility to adjust our product portfolio to meet the, the industry demands. As a longtime partner in the mobile phone industry, Nexperia has a proven track record of providing a portfolio which has helped the rapid evolution of the smartphone and peripherals. So, whether you're trying to get more functionality into a smartphone or make a smaller wireless earbud, Nexperia can help you do so efficiently.